That loop could have gone on for days. It could, couldn't it? That, that was, tune. Uh, that yeah, was, uh, where did that happen? Was that, that sounded like some sort of old Snow Patrol tune or, or, or something. Like, or uh, like a, like a proper Nesmo Why does work pop? all the way over the top of it as well? It's nice just, play. I'll tell you what it is, it's Matic. And then, and then you take it to the, to the, cause, cause it's in, you know, cause it's, of course, anyway, they're all in the scale of love. Uh, we love the D. A couple of months ago, Pete and I embarked on a journey of Gibson goodness, <laughs> uh, as we tore through, uh, some of the new Les Pauls and SGs that Gibson have announced, uh, this year. Yeah. Uh, but at the time, what we didn't have in stock, because they weren't on that first run, were some of the reissues they've done of the juniors and the specials. Uh, and today I'm super excited to say that these are now free flowing stock. <laughs> uh, and so now we've got some guitars to do videos of uh, juniors and specials and, and no, which specials way is it? And Sorry, specials and juniors and, and, and juniors and, and, and specials. specials. Um, this, is, this is not like new new, is it? We no, saw this. Or I did we see this at Nam? No, but I are think like new, new. Because I remember seeing this at Nam and going, "Oh, pill and blue P90s! Oh mm. my god!" So and that, and uh, with the wrap around, and it's just glorious color. It's one of my favorite colors yeah. of all time. Uh, people think it might be purple, but actually, it's uh, it, and maybe it is. Yeah. But uh, have you seen the, have, have you seen to... the film The Taking of Pelham One Two Three? Yes, I it's have. It's literally about a robbery of those guitars. Isn't yeah. It? So look, way back when, actually probably longer ago than I even thought, fifty four, according to the wonderful Wikipedia people. Fifty four. Uh, Nineteen fifty four. That is. Uh, Gibson, in an effort to make a more affordable version of their new Les Paul, did the Les Paul Junior. Yeah. Um, now this is long before any you know concept of guitars being made in the Far East was a thing. Yeah. Um, so you know they would have looked. They it would have been the same uh, factory, same luthiers, same you know finishing Everything. processes and stuff. They'd have just been looking at it again. What can we do to make the guitar cheaper? So uh, what we call a slab body. So no concept of like a, a maple arch top on there. Just a single piece of glorious mahogany. Yeah, yeah. S same kind of set neck idea but with some cost savings like the button machine heads uh, no binding on the fretboard and of course i suppose most obviously just having one pickup at the time the wraparound tailpiece kind of would have been the thing the for same the les as on, anyway. on the les paul yeah, yeah. That, that kind of moved on to the the tunematic and they started with the p90s anyway didn't it wasn't, wasn't that the, yes the, the p90 existed before seth lover invented the patent applied for sometimes now known as PAF, a pumbucker. Um, and then of course, shortly after uh, that, uh, there would have been a, a two pickup version, there would have been double cut versions. This particular one uh, is a bound, Gosh. comes with a bound neck. As I said, two pickups, um, the same wraparound tail piece, the same basic slab body sort of, you know, design uh, in what is called TV yellow. Yeah, it's glorious. Which is, you know why it's called TV yellow? Because it, TVs were yellow at that time. No, no, no. This know. is because... Uh, like, it looked like cigarette. This was because... Uh, I've told this story before on YouTube, so if you're all bored and switched off, just fast forward here. Um, back in the day when guitar players used to turn up to TV studios with white guitars, with, and of course the TV was all filmed, uh, all and produced black, black, and, black white. and white, what would happen is a white guitar would show up like a hotspot on the screen. So they'd be like, oh, we don't, please don't oh. use white guitars. So Gibson created a yellow that on a black and white TV just looks like a white guitar. It became known as TV Yellow because it was used for television. I did not know that. I've never that, heard that story before. Yeah, That's so this, awesome. I know this mustardy kind of yellow was never designed because someone thought it was a great looking colour. It was designed to be on television and, and not glare. A glare hilaire. white colour. Glare so hilaire. We'll have a, a little play on wow. these. But yeah, awesome. you've, you've got kind of the same thing, but like 10 years later. 10 years later. Uh, uh, the longest running production, a uh, Gibson production model. Really? Uh, I heard that the, the SG still, it's been in, it's never been taken out of the catalog. Apparently they've always made that. Uh, you know, you know it, Batman. Yeah. Um, cutaways there, all the way up here, P90s on this, wrap around tailpiece. Was this the beginning? Maybe that was the beginning, the first Gibson, uh, the first SG they made with the wrap around tailpiece and the P90s, it must have been. 
I don't know. The first SG would have been the Les Paul. Wouldn't have been. Would have been. It was the, called. Yeah, but it called S the Les Paul SG Les, or yeah. something, wasn't it? Because I remember they had. And the it probably did Les just Paul have two there. humbuckers on it, like a Les Paul. So these, yeah. are, these, are, these again will have been variants of that guitar, yeah. designed to be more affordable. Yeah. I think Glorious that looks guitars. amazing. Oh, they're so cool. And, and the, the guitars we still haven't got are the, mm. the 64 SDs. We haven't so got them yet to They're do the a ones video with on. the Vibrola tremolo yeah. and the Maestro and everything. That's another yeah. video. Yeah. Those have been so crazy popular and built in such small numbers that the small quantity that have come into Anderson's have all gone straight yeah. out. So we haven't done I a think, video on that. I think yet. they didn't expect that to happen, but they look amazing as well. I, anyway, what can I say? Oh. Why, don't, why don't you do some tones? on each of yours, talk about the neck carve and yeah. blah blah uh, Yes, let's just, let's see what it says. So here's a clean tone uh, on the neck uh, pickup. That's so good. That's funky, man. That's like proper. the neck that was nice and pokey and round and fat and lovely uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it sounds low like a like a single coil even though it's, it's it is fun it's just a fat coil, single coil uh, with a bit of gain position again you got the two volume and two tone uh, bridge that's oh, pokey yeah, oh, hey. good. with the gain on yeah I love that it. That sounds great, doesn't it? Big clean Thanks. amplifier, a fairly transparent overdrive pedal, and a P90 yeah. is such a fabulous, rich tone. Yes. I should mention as well that Pete and I have plugged back into the same amps we did the earlier in the year Gibson videos. Yes, so to keep hopefully it consistent. you'll be able to, you know, any differences you hear when you hear those videos back to back should be the guitars. Yeah, same. Uh, man, just, Pretty, just, I think just all the pedals the, are the same. And, uh, all the pedals are the same. Let's just turn down a bit. It's great, man. I really dig this, and it looks so cool. Well, speaking of looks, I think it comes in two different colours, and they will magically appear on, on your screenage screen. now. Oh. And again, talking of looks and other sexual things that come with it, <laughs> um, all four of these guitars, because these aren't like mega cheap. These guitars, um, all four come with the deluxe, lovely uh, brown faux leathery covered, Falk shaped. Falx. Falx leather. Falx leather. Kind of what is it missing, Lee? What is the case missing? Let's just check, though, just in case they've listened to any of our hashtags. Hang on a second. Oh. No, no, hashtag is still valid. Yeah. Hashtag Tag bring, bring back, back the blankets. Blanket. Um, yeah. Right. We need it. We need the pink blanket, man. So, should we jump over to my Les Paul now? Yes, go for um, it. Okay, so I love that thing. Two pickups like uh, Pete's. Um, but four controls like a conventional Les Paul, two volumes, two tones, wraparound tailpiece. Mm. Um, let's talk about wraparound tailpiece. You might be thinking if you've never had a guitar like this before, how do I adjust the intonation on a wraparound tailpiece? Well, the you truth don't. of it is it's, it's not ever going to be as accurate as a guitar where you've got six individual saddles, but by adjusting 
um, uh, two screws, one at either end of here. You can move each end further away or closer to the bridge pins. Yeah. And uh, that should intonate the guitar enough for rock and roll. Please. So uh, on the neck pickup. Sans, Batman. sans pedals, if, Bat I, if I remember the abuse we got in the first videos about using pedals to mask the tone of guitars. So this is no pedals. Through a Fender Bass, bass Breaker break. 30. That was only the bridge pickup, the, the middle. No, but that was only the neck pickup. <laughs> you want to hear both pickup? <laughs> and then the bridge pickup. Volumes and tones as you'd expect them to be. I'm gonna hit the volume and tone a bit more on the single pickup one because I kind of think that's when you've only got one yeah, pickup. That's when you need to fiddle what with you've got to fiddle with. with so knobs. how about that? I love that guitar. Um, <laughs> Pete, yeah. we have to start a band where the guitar players are only allowed guitars with one pickup. I'm in. The bass player is only allowed two strings and the drummer's only allowed one stick and a cymbal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, is that not Def Leppard? <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Yeah, okay, so shall I? Um, I love that I, guitar. Yes. I, I, there's something about the one, the one pickup guitars that um, it's just cool, right? It, you know what it says, doesn't it? it? Says I'm so good, I don't need anything more than one pickup. That's what it actually says. Oh, it could say. Or I I'm don't so know poor, how to use. I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how to use more no, than I, one pickup. I think it's. But it I think it's because I'm so good. Yeah. Not I am. Um, but. Well, some. You know, there are definitely people that Phil can X. do that. Yeah. He's the coolest single pickup, and Richie Sambora when he plays his. Oh, and Jared James Nichols. And Jared James you know, Nichols. Is, they just get that thing from one pickup. They get so much different tone. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is very limited. So we're everything on full there with the G. It's very, oh, very pokey. It's amazing. It looks, it's even like somebody has managed to get all the screws straight over <laughs> on this one. <laughs> that's oh, they are on these as that's well. That's head of uh, screw centralization. Yeah, he's, uh, he's on, uh, at, uh, director yeah, he's, of he's screw like, centralization. Screw, uh, the, it's very close to the bridge, isn't it, these pickups? They are very close. They, so to the you're getting all that kind of power and zing. This bit. Zing. <laughs> And then you could dial down the volume. Oh, 
want to turn back. Do the, do the same thing with gain, I think. When you have the, when you're up here with the same gain, if you're playing chords, it's there's much more gain. You know what I mean? Much more drive than if you. It almost yeah, seems like, like the you want to kick like another pedal in. Yeah, you want to go like even more, maybe more. How about fuzz? That's a awesome. wicked looking guitar. These oh, two, by the way, are currently only available in the colours that you see here. Yeah. Uh, but hey, who wouldn't want a Cherry SG or a Burst uh, Les Paul? Um, so this is going to sound similar, I guess. Different amplifiers, say different colours. Well, kind of... there's a thicker body, you know, it's a... Uh... Can I just point back. something out? I've just realised that the the position of the volume and the t and the tone control they're much nearer, aren't they? They're where they're where the Telecaster pickups are, uh, switches are. They're exactly the same and place like as on a Tele miles away. Yeah, but it's, when you look at a Telecaster, that they're the same position. In fact, you know what I want to say about where yours are? Yours are literally just on a normal SG. The other two would just be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they it's not like they kind away. of reposition them, have they? They've no, just they, gone, just lose yeah. two. But that is whereas exactly. Whereas these have been repositioned. If you had the three-way, well, no. if you had the three-way selector switch. No, look, it's all. It's really weird. Like on on the Les Paul, all they've done is take away the controls for the to the top treble pickup. And, the and on the SG, they've taken away the controls. Yes, but if for you the, had the if you had the plate here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get I get what you're saying as well. But how weird? I'd never even really noticed. Why? I wonder why on the SG they decided to take those two away rather than. Maybe, I don't maybe, know. but I, don't I know. love this kind of idea of the volume and the tone. Volume on full, tone rolled all the way back. You got. I think if with a, with enough gain on it. Oh man. 
Just you, sounds... can, you can sit and play that all day. I can feel it. I can feel you've got it going on. You just want to keep it playing. It just sounds fat. Yeah. The, ne the necks on these are... None of them are like a, Slim. a 50s Les Paul fat. No. I would say, if anything, this the Junior feels a little chunkier than the, than the Special. Not a lot. No, these are the same neck. I would say so? these ones are the same. Slim. Yeah, maybe it uh, might just be the binding and the carb that gives it that yeah. kind of feel. But price wise, eleven ninety nine, eleven forty nine, twelve ninety nine. So, so you pay same. a little bit more for the. Uh, yeah, not um, you know they're not not designed to be like the really uh, affordable Gibson stuff like the the DCs that we played nope. again in another nope. video way back. Um, but they're great. All nitro finished. Yeah. So these things are gonna look so cool yeah, when after you've, you've had it for like you know a year or two and you've really played it in yeah as i said with the nice case what yeah, is not to like what's not to like uh apart from me and pete mainly me <laughs> um but uh there we yeah, go so that's it go. happy days happy more days. gibson guitars uh, and uh, we'll finish the sgs with the crazy trem systems as soon as they arrive yeah and there's three three fives oh we haven't even started the semis yet have we well, I've started. <laughs> wow, I was waiting for that. <laughs> okay, right, uh, should we jam out or just say goodbye? I think we should jam out. Okay, we'll jam yeah. out and say goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Bye.
Bosch.